everyone's rushing over to this liquor store and they're going at it. We just saw it. I understand it, but someone just try and grab the camera of a journalist. It's getting bad out here. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna take pictures and everything. They, that's what they're offering for. I'm sorry, I'm gone. <laughs> People are trying to pull their cars out. I'm glad we 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 got ours out when we did. Someone just ran by yelling, "Get money!" They're coming. Someone yells, "They're coming!" Yeah, it's not clear how long this is going to go on before the police make their move. But look here, this bench has just been shattered. There's glass everywhere. The police have still not made a move. And we've seen, so far from where I'm standing, three stores have been smashed and people are just, they're just looting. Someone in the car yells, get out of there. We still aren't seeing any movement from the police, but when the police move in, it's going to be indiscriminate. One twenty-six a.m. Ferguson, Missouri. For those that are just tuning in, this is the Michael Brown protest. The police started moving in maybe about 45 minutes ago. About 35 minutes ago, we saw the police come to the front of this line. They haven't moved, but this set people off. Several stores have been looted. This ATM looks like it's, uh, it's cracked, still working. This bus station has just been, has all the glass shattered. So fortunately, you know, our car was parked right in front of the liquor store, and we were able to move it just in time. So if you guys want to know more about what's going on here, make sure to check out vicenews.com. We've got some stories that we'll, we'll, we'll tell you about this past week and the tensions that have been building with the police and with the protesters. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at TimCast. I've been posting videos and photos uh, here on the ground, but also check out at Vice News on Twitter for, uh, and Instagram for the bigger picture. Park the car wonky and just worry about it. It's like in the middle of the road. It's like can't park it. <laughs> in the middle of the road, huh? Well, not quite, but like, it should be moved before everybody starts driving out. So it actually looks like this ATM is, is fine. But this, this liquor store is getting it. Get the fuck out of here! There's a second. So this guy with the camera has been going in a couple times, but they've been chasing him out. The first thing we saw was an Al Jazeera crew up at the Field Beauty Supply across the street. Hey Tim, a CNN crew got attacked here too. Just just recently? Yeah, just recently. Do you want to tell us, do you see it? Uh, it was a CNN crew led by Steve Kasdenbaum. Uh, the shooter went in, uh, well the photographer went in. Went into the liquor store. He went towards that store, he made it just past that red car, um, and right afterwards, he got immediately attacked by a guy in wearing all white with a white mask. Steve cast him down, he pulled him back, they went back to the truck. Thanks, man. Why y'all filming all the bullshit? Film them, we just stopped all the motherfuckers from going in there, film that. So we got 360 degrees to keep our eye on here. We got the police on one side and we got protesters each side of the street. Ferguson Market and Liquor. Now this is the site that Mike Brown allegedly stole the cigarillos from. But again, for that, re that report that came out, the officer that killed Michael Brown didn't know he was a suspect in this robbery. So it seems, well, it's totally unrelated as far as most of the people here are concerned. Put that camera down, bro. Hey, put that camera down. 
I like this guy in the white. He just gets loud when the people come at him. Well, we got the police now flying overhead. And it looks like the police on this side is still, they have not moved in, but we're hearing more announcements. And it looks like most of the, the protesters here are, are moving back. This is, this is intense. So on all sides, we've got Field Beauty Supply, we've got STL Cordless, and Ferguson Market Liquor, they've all been looted. And the, and the, you know, I don't even know what to call them anymore, the people who are around us, these, you know, these protesters, these people wearing the mask, I feel, you know, it's, they've already given us a lot of warnings. They've, they've chased media out. We, we're hearing that a CNN crew got attacked when they went up to try and film this. Looks like the police chopper just made its move. Now starting to shine its light down on all of us. One thirty one AM. Now it looks like a lot of the cars that were in this road have started turning around. There's still some protesters up in the front with their hands in the air. 